All right. So um, I did get a message that uh, Dane's not going to be able to join us tonight. Um, and so he asked if I could um, kind of take a poll of everyone once we get started. So uh, I have a question from Dane for all of you. Um, and then let me see. So we have our mentors, we have Hermione and Miss Velma, and then our learners. We have Kathy, Tim, Courtney, Gutahi, Kali, Judy, Hinate, and uh, Aunt Carolyn, myself, and we have Chelsea joining us with the language program. And um, let's see. All right. Well, we can go ahead and get started. Um, Miss Selma, are you able to open us up tonight with a opening prayer? They don't say. Ah, ah, kota doggy, dog I beg a doggy. Oh my doggy, attic doggy. Day on day. Ah. Get I think so. I'm um, get dog ego. Quite don't get get dog. I eat my hima. They own day him dog a dog of cook the dog 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 ego. He to get taint so da. Guy get come. They go. They own day um. Da tie do dog ego. Dog a elim da. Dog a elim dog. They on the yanom da dog e. The moyum dog e da in dog. They hunt the young high get off. Tain don't get go beg it, don't get young high get off, dog. You know what each individual, each one of us, you know what our needs are. You know how how we feel, how how what we think. They hunt the young high get off, dog. And we're so thankful that you, you have. Thank you, Lord, for thy grace, Lord. Thy unconditional love and compassion. Oh my dog, him dog. Hold the cog, a con, the and the dog cycle. Con, the and him town, the pop, the bora bow, and the dog in the ampade of the dog cycle, and and bit a halgum. And your town, and your togi, oh my dog, he got they who I coik a comba. They own the hito, hito, I told you, dumb tiger dog, and dog. We're trying to keep our language. We want our younger people to learn our language so that our language would 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 not would continue. And I'm so grateful, Lord, that you have blessed our our teachers. You've blessed them, Lord, with the the, the desire and the motivation to learn the Kiowa language and to teach it to our younger our our, our young people, our children, our future. Thank you for blessing blessing us with with their um, their um, uh, their desire, Lord, to 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 learn Kiowa and to teach it. And thankful, Lord, that we got a director, Chelsea. Just bless her, Lord, um, uh, and bless each each individual, um, their families. Lord, they go they what they go be tired or they go. I got they told you to unpaid or ta, but give my oi bit on the unpaid or I got they to pay good. I got they told you to hold dog your daughter. They hook yakomba, yakomba, be con, pill, I think, or be good. They talk so lay go, betado, to pay good. I got the toke, it's Sunday to a dog, he unpaid or dog. Those who are homeless, Lord, I just I feel. I just thank you, Lord, that, that you have enough love, Lord, that you would take care of them and bless them, especially the sound of a dog of being to take care of them. We thank you for this beautiful day, the, the, the sunlight, the, the heat from the sunlight that, that we enjoy, Lord, and thank you for uh, all that you do for us, that you bless us with food, you bless us with water, Thank you for the air that we breathe, dog. Day, honey, yanum da, dog. We're so thankful. 
Oh. Awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, and I see we have Miss Marion also joining us this evening. Um, let's see. Uh oh, looks like Grandma D is reconnecting. Wait a second, other oh, there's okay. All right, so I um, think uh, one of the things that we wanted to try to uh, do is there's a couple things. Oh, just a minute, hold on. Um, let's see here. Um, okay, so just wanted to say that we have a, an update, a request from the Kiowa Language Credentialing Board. Uh, Dane would like us to take a poll of any of the candidates or teachers that are going for level one or level two certification and then are going for the May in-person certification date. Um, so the dates are make sure I get this correct, Saturday, May 18th, or Saturday, May 25th. And so Dane wants to know if we can take a poll of whoever is going to be uh, working towards that date, and then um, we'll get the results to, I'll get the results to Dane, and then he'll share it with the credentialing board when they meet next week so they can decide on an official date. So if you don't mind, so let's see, choices are, I'm going to put it in the chat, uh, May, Saturday, they're both Saturday, May 20, what, May 18th or May, sorry, can't talk, talk and type at the same time, <laughs> um, for next in-person credentialing. Please vote. Okay, so I just put it in the chat. So if you don't mind just sharing which is your preference. So I'll put mine as well. Awesome, okay. Um, and then whichever the majority is, the credentialing board will make a decision next week. All right, any questions about that? All right. Okay, so let's see here. Um, one of the things that we uh, try to do in these sessions is every so often, um, every couple sessions we'll do updates from our language teachers. And so I think, uh, you know, this week being the Oklahoma Native American Youth Language Fair, um, we thought last week we thought we could uh, spend some time today kind of reflecting on the language fair and talking about it. And um, I know that some of the mentors that may not have been able to be there in person or to see everything um, would like to see videos if we have them available. Um, and so we wanted to talk about, like, do some sharing uh, today. So that's one thing. Um, and uh, let me see. I know that we um, we usually like to have updates from the credentialing board. Um, 
but I guess our update is voting on everyone's preference for the in-person credentialing. So thank you for taking a minute to vote. Hey, Melody. Hyundai. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but the 18th and 25th is a Sunday? You're trying to have that meeting on a Sunday? Uh, of May? Let's see. May 18th okay. and May 25th. Oh, I'm in year 2025. How did that happen? Okay. <laughs> You're in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for next. Okay. Slow I down. Wow. <laughs> uh, he's ready. He's planning ahead. <laughs> I got you. Sorry about that. Okay. That's okay. Good, good, good catch. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, did I look at the wrong calendar? <laughs> okay. Um, awesome. Thank you. I see everyone's voting. Um, all right. So uh, we also have our um, the Kiowa Tribe Language Department director here with us, Chelsea, right? And so I'm really excited that she's um, – saying hello to all of us. So um, Chelsea, if you don't mind, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but it would be awesome if you would like to share any updates with us. Um, and uh, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. So if you want, I can turn it over to you. Yeah, so um, tomorrow we will uh, put in the newsletter the categories and the results of the language fair. Um, we also have a Zoom meeting uh, for the summer camp, planning the summer camp uh, tomorrow at, I think it sh everyone should have got an invite. It might be at three or four. Let me look real quick in my planner. And then we'll have another one next week, just in case, um, or just to follow up, actually. So we have a couple meetings coming up. Um, let's see. Our annual reports. Uh, coming up soon. So our language teachers that are in the public school system will need their data soon. Yeah, so the meeting is at 4 p.m. It's uh, mandatory. And then, uh, yeah, so there's that. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Today we went to the KEA summit. It was pretty cool. The Kiowa Education Agency Summit. Um, we discussed... Um, Kiowa Indigenous Learning Standards, um, creating our, our own learning standards, or um, we discussed the, the is it nine or ten themes? Do you remember, Melody? I think a lot of this is from the KLCRP days anyway. Um, oh, yeah, ten. I think it's the ten themes. themes. Yeah, so that was pretty neat. Um, the Carnegie students uh, sang a couple hymns. Um, let's see, Ramon actually gave an interview and I think it is going to, it's probably airing right now on channel seven or it aired at 6 PM. Um, Ramon and Dane went to see Dr. Meadows. Uh, they gave us, a, a lecture there, uh, at the university where he works at. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think what else is going on. There's just a lot going on. There's a lot going on behind the scenes and there's a lot we've got planned for the future. Um, so yeah, but I, I'll definitely keep everyone in the loop. Um, aside from the, the things we have coming up soon, um, I can't really think of any anything else that's super pressing right now. Oh, yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you. And thank you for jumping on with us. Does anyone have any questions? One at a time. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um. What is, what is the person's uh, last name you just said, Chelsea? Right. W-R-I-G-H-T. Right? Yes. W-R-I-G-H-T. Yes. Okay. And, uh, 
which thing? Because that's the recognize the name. Uh, my grandma. Uh, my grandma is Tiny Cannon, and my grandpa was Bobby Cannon, and my grandma is Mary uh, T Bone or Mary Henry, and so my my grandfather is actually Raymond Henry. So that might kind of help to place my family. Okay. Writes my married true. name. That's my husband's name. <laughs> Mm. Okay, that's good. Thank you. You're welcome. So yeah, I like to wield my relation to TC Cannon over everyone. I'm just kidding. I don't do that. How do you say it, Chelsea? How do you say it? Oh, you have a question? I have a question. Okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know if uh, the Kiowa Education Agency, if they're going to have another meeting? I know I would have loved to attend, but um, I couldn't get a substitute for my class, so I couldn't. I had to be at school. Well, this summit um, was the first of, I believe, what they'll have, like, yearly summits. Um when they have the next meeting, I'm I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, but uh, I'll definitely, you know, keep you in the loop on that. So today it was just kind of um, all the different, you know, the, the teen uh, suicide prevention program, the um, spark wheel. Um, let's see. I can't remember. There were several booths. There were several booths in, um, oh, the youth. The youth, what is that? Uh, Derek to Derek Topai, he he spoke and uh, yeah, we talked about parent involvement, um, engaging parents, uh, trying to, you know, put our kids on a track to to college, um, making sure that we do what we can in our community to reach the the children on the cusp of adulthood who have no idea what they might do next. Um, I shared that with the recognition of Kiowa language as a um, world language, although we know it is a valid language and our ways are valid. Um, it, it says something about um, our sovereignty um, and our, our negotiating power and our, our status to, to have the state you know, recognize that, and then also, um, that, uh, it, it just makes everything we're doing, uh, seem even more, even though we know it is credible and established, so that's pretty cool, and, um, that provides job opportunities, you know, to, to our, to our kids and to our people, and so that's one thing that we can kind of encourage, is and it's you know culturally relevant and good for self-esteem is participation in Kiowa language classes, Kiowa cultural events, and also you know considering a career teaching Kiowa. You never know, you know. So, um, but there were there were a lot of things discussed today. It was it was a neat summit. It would be great to have you at one at the next one for sure. That's awesome. It's super exciting. It's really exciting to see all of that happening. That's really, really good for, you know, us to kind of think for Kiowa to think about um, that whole, you know, what does our education system look like from birth to adulthood and really kind of reclaiming that. I love it. Yes. Yes. There was a lot of talk about, um, Oh, Kind of in a sense, sort of just like overlaying our worldview and trying to, you know, into the into the mainstream instead of vice versa, you know. And I thought that was very neat. I I have notes somewhere, but that's I don't know where they are. I don't know where they are. <laughs> but I'm gonna quit talking now. Uh, uh, sorry if there wasn't anything too exciting or you know, but. That's that's kind of what's going on. I'm just sort of trying to get the department organized. And, you know, we moved. They, they moved many times. There were a couple natural disasters. 
there are a lot of things that um, need to be brought up to date from months of not having a director. And, and that's just the nature of it. It just is what it is. And so, you know, we're all just kind of scrambling around to get, I mean, things are fine, but there are deadlines and things like that steadily approaching. So. Um, I have a question. Um, where is your office located? It's at uh, um, uh, 516 Central in Anadarko um, is the main office. We do have a couple of cubicles. <laughs> I mean, it's just a workspace at the HHS building. Um, and then, you know, we have a, a Lance over at the AOA building, but there, there's there been discussion. I don't want to say anything yet, you know, of having multiple sites, multiple locations, but the main office is on Central and Anadarko, 516. It's right across from that R&M auto repair place. Mm. Is there a um, central number? Yes. Uh, so each one of us have a cell phone. So um, I'll make sure to get my cell phone and the... Um, the uh, administrative assistant cell phone uh, sent out to everyone, so everyone has that contact. No, we don't have a, la a landline yet. Um, so right now, we're all just using our work cell phones. Question, who's, this, who's the assistant? Uh, so our staff are... Um, well, the titles are kind of changing, <laughs> so that's another thing, because, you know, people have... People have a, a, extra responsibilities or additional responsibilities um, because of the grant, you know, um, which is what everyone signed up for, you know, our job descriptions say, and additional duties, but um, as assigned. But uh, we have Darlene Sankadona. She is the, I don't know, like I said, titles are changing. So that that's a whole thing that is just a, an administrative thing, you know? Um, so she's pretty much functions as, a, she operates as the office clerk, um, handles a lot of the like finance, budget, payments, that sort of thing. Um, Linda uh, is more, you know, a co pretty much the project coordinator um, or program coordinator. Or I, again, you're kind of asking me questions that I'm, we're in a place of transition. So, um, yeah, so she's she checks materials. She uh, serves as sort of a liaison between the community and the department. Um, also handles a lot of the planning for events and organizing things. Um, then we have uh, Darren. Darren's the technician, you know, and uh, records, uh, puts transcriptions on recordings, enhances recordings um those videography things like that um and then ramon and he works with mr tonkame and he's also our one of our language um and culture teachers and he is uh located at the carnegie site so you know his responsibilities are teaching his classes um and then curriculum development and working with the elders to you know create more materials and transcriptions and and so forth and then julia works in the um, Anadarko School, and she's another one of our public school certified um, Taiwan language teachers. So, but at, at the building, it's Linda, Darlene, uh, Darren, Ramon, and Mr. Tonkamane. Now, Lance is over at the AOA building, and he is going to resume his weekly community classes. If anyone's interested in that, we're going to discuss doing some on Zoom. And they'll be they're available to tribal employees and and the general public. Um, but right now, you know, he, he's still doing them, but attendance sort of dwindled. So we want to get that up and going again. And uh, he currently sends out, you know, a word of the day and and creates lesson plans. So so what does Mr. Tonkame? What's his job? I mean, what's his title? Or what is he a mentor? Or what is he? Um. Let me see. He is not in like paycom. Like he's not on my payroll. I don't have to 
you know, uh, he's not required to punch in or punch out. He is, um, I guess we would consider him a mentor. I'm not really sure. You know, I, I just started, I know that we have our advisory board and we have our credentialing board and then we have our mentors, which are at the five sites, right? Do we still have Melody five mentors at five sites? Anyway. Well, that's a good question. That's probably something um, you'll have to figure out um, whether that still oh, applies. No, no, no. So it's I know in, it's in the grant. It's in the grant. I just don't know the names of everyone yet. You know, it's like the teacher. Right, right, right. So I don't know. Still, I think that most of the people on the on the um, some of our elders are are both on the um, credentialing board, advisory board and our mentors. So I'm not sure. I just know Mr. Tonkame, he shows up 8 a.m. every day almost. He's, his health has not been so great lately, so he hasn't been in the office as often. Um, but, yeah, he works with remote quite a bit. Let me see here. Maybe I can find out more information. I'm not sure what the pens are here, but I'm just going to take a guess. Well, um, as for me, oh, 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 and bell pepper, why don't we take this list? Just take it. Oh, I already got that. Oh, uh, Chelsea, really good information, really helpful. I think everyone is very excited that you're finally there, <laughs> that the department has a director. So that's super exciting and really awesome to hear, you know, about everything and all the plans. So um, if you would like, it doesn't have to, you know, no pressure. But uh, every so often we have updates on our Wednesday sessions for from our credentialing board. And it would be awesome to have updates from the language department. Um, if that's something that is in the plans. So, um, yeah, we use we use these sessions Wednesdays as primarily focused on practicing and really working towards the credentialing, um, especially for anyone who's uh, working towards level one or who's already level one working towards level two and maybe eventually working towards level three and so on. Um, and so we, we're using um, the materials that the credentialing board developed for the credentialing process. Um, so that's kind of uh, what our Wednesday sessions are. They have been, and then, like I said, sometimes we'll do updates from the different uh, language teachers in the community and in the schools. Um, so I think, I know I'm super excited <laughs> that the, pro the department has a director and um, so you're definitely invited to anytime listen in and uh, share updates whenever whenever you can. So awesome. Glad you're here. Um, I was going to say I, I found out he's one of our advisors. I, I hope I know I'm not coming across as like I don't know what's going on in the department. It's just that there are, um, you know, there's overlap between some of the advisors and some of the uh, credentialing board, but he's he's a very he's a valuable speaker to us, and he does a lot of our transcription. Definitely, no. we love we love Mr. Young. I'm awkward. I'm getting off here. It's been a long day. Are you? Guys, I will see everyone <laughs> later. Y'all have y'all have a great time studying, and I'm gonna I'm gonna eat dinner. <laughs> Um, Paul, ha. Sorry. Well, so, Hega and Oi, Bonta. Uh, Hega, uh, Hega, Bonta. Melody, I have a question for Chelsea. Yeah. Oh, ha. Uh, who, who is on the advisory board? See, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. I'm. I'm still trying to figure that out. Since I've started, I mean, I cannot tell you from every direction because we have two grants. Then you know. Uh, we're funded by two grants, NVR, OIE, and just the, the you know, our departmental budget. And there is a lot of, um, 
diff- mm, I have to be really careful what I say, you know what I mean? But uh, there, there's a lot of uh, confusion right now, and it's, it's working itself out. Um, but because there are so many different things going on, I don't have quite clear who is the advisory, who's on the advisory board, who is an elder mentor, and who is on the credentialing board. So that's something that I'm, I'm still trying to sort through. I need to read through all the narratives. And one of the narratives I read, it doesn't even really mention anyone's name because it was, you know, part of the application to get the funding. So we hadn't quite yet established who was going to do what yet. So that's information that I really need, but we have had something going on um, almost every day or people out of the office. Um, You know, Linda went to DC and to Fort Marion and then Ramon was gone for um, a week to Arkansas um, to meet with Dr. Meadows. And then, um, you know, people have had funerals and health issues. And so it's just, I can't answer that yet. I'm very sorry. I'll, I'll find out soon, though. I could probably find out right now if y'all want to be patient uh, with me. All right. Turn it over to Melody. <laughs> All right. See y'all later. Oh, thank you for that, Chelsea. All right. Um, Awesome. Uh, Let's see. Okay, so I believe that we wanted to share some videos. So, um, of some of the language fair uh, performances, at least for people who have them available and are comfortable to share. Uh, Courtney, Dobby, um, are you ready? Do you want me to? Monday. Um, do you want me to do it on my end? Yeah, if if you want to, if you want to pull it up, or I can either way. I'll try to. Uh, give me just a second. I gotta try to find the. <laughs> oh. Okay. I. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Let's see. Can hate the. Can you hear you? Okay, I'm just trying to pull up the videos. Um, Okay, this first one is our puppet show that the kids did in the third through fifth grade um, short play skit for small group. And it was Josh McClellan, Alice Ann's, and Russell's son, and then um, Payne May is um, our granddaughter, and it is Blessing Bedeau and uh, Connie Bread's granddaughter, Blessing Bedeau's daughter, and Connie Bread's um, granddaughter, and Mar- our Aunt Marilyn's. Uh, little sister so let me pull this up here share I'm on my iPad so it takes a minute for me to remember all the sharing okay can you all still hear me and oh. The, the uh, you can, I'm gonna turn up my sound so hopefully oh, you can hear oh. it. Okay. Can you see the puppet show on the screen? Oh. Hey. Okay. okay. All right. I'm gonna test the sound and then I'll play it once I confirm. You can hear it. Oh. oh. Okay. 
So I'm going to push play. Uh, cool. Okay, I hope Chuck could hear that okay. That was good. Ah, awesome. And let's see. I'll pull up uh, the one Jude did. He couldn't go. Um, he couldn't go to the language fair because they had a dance performance um scheduled and um his dance troupe that they that he dances in right now he's one of the only boys uh dancers and so we decided to do a uh he did a language fair video um mobile video Um, so let me pull that up now. And his got first place for the mobile video entries. Um, so let me see if I can do this. Okay, share screen. <clears throat> okay. And you all can see him? あ。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッ
poster entry and she got second on that. Uh, we read the Grandma Spider and Half Boys story and then that's what she um, entered. So she kind of illustrated a, a piece for that to turn in. see so that's uh our little crew if i can find this her poster real quick oh here it is um here's her poster i'll try to pull up a picture to show you all if you if you didn't get to go and this is her entry so she uh, drew that, she sketched it, and then um, what she did was she put it into digital, um, made it into a digital, and she kind of talked about that in um, her write-up and talking about um, when she listened to the story about, and she hears the story about Grandma's a spider and the half boys this is kind of what she thinks about as a beautiful woman and um taking care of um half boys so obaha <clears throat> that's pretty cool that's a good drawing Oh, and yeah, she talked about that. She she talked about that she really liked being able to try out different mediums and of art, um, sketching it out first and then putting it into a um, In the digital. digital digital format, which is neat. Uh, it was it's really fine. awesome to see her do that too. Yeah, it's not easy, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I thought it was really good though overall the language fair just uh in my own uh time being there I, this this year there was a a big Kiowa presence and I attribute that to our language program and our um, elder mentors and uh, teachers, candidates for those that are in the classroom with uh, the students and pushing them to enter. And I know next year, I feel like it'll be even bigger in those, you know, the students will have more confidence and and also get more cre even more creative than they already are to uh, share and learn the language. So um, I was really glad. It was uplifting and a blessing to see that all of the, from, from the youngest to the oldest students, it was really fun. And then to see all of our elders elder mentors or most of them there that could be there and we miss those that couldn't be there for sure. Obaha.
Paul. Those are awesome. So exciting. <laughs> lots and lots of hard work I know everyone put into it. So amazing. It was it was just amazing for me seeing how much Kiowa was represented. Like our language was everywhere and I wanted to I think it might have been one of Tim, maybe it was one of your students. Don't remember. Um but somebody was walking around with like big poster board size of Mrs. Ant and same day stories on the on the high school day or middle school and high school day. So that was really cool to see. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get that video. If I can learn how, if I can get this video from my phone to my laptop, then I'll show it. But I'm not all that. Uh, our, well, you and me both, Tim, because I, I took some videos, too, and all day I've been trying to upload, and my phone just is slow, and oh, man, so I don't know. I'll have to figure something out, but Courtney, I'm glad you figured it out. <laughs> we'll keep trying. Um, Tim, one thing that, uh, so for me, like, our internet is, like, kind of off and on out here, so that's what messes me up, so I have to get to a good internet spot, but uh, I think what Courtney did was she shared a, uploaded it to the Google Drive and then shared a link. So that might be something. And also, if uh, if anyone wants videos on YouTube, like to create a YouTube link so other people can watch, it doesn't have to be public. It can be unlisted, which is, you know, private or, you know, not searchable. You can't find it on YouTube unless you have the link. Um that's something, you know, I could upload those if you wanted. Like, for instance, like my class, they want the videos that I recorded because they want to show it to their families that weren't able to be there. So I have to upload um, the videos I took um, to YouTube so that the class can share it with their families. Um, but let me know and we could, you know, work something out. I'll try to share one if if I can. I got I have one, but I'm I don't know. I'm gonna try. I'm taking it from Facebook though. Am I able to do that? So if I hit share screen. Yeah, and as long as you hit you if you have to hit share sound also, sometimes that that's the trick. If you're on your phone, it's usually a button, a box that pops up after you hit share screen. Uh, see, I don't, I don't know if I know how to do this. I, I don't know how to do it. I'm sorry. But we, we have, if you go to um, Riverside um, Facebook page, they have um, Mr. Blackstar. He downloaded you know, all the ones that he recorded, but I didn't see when I went to go look, the one with um, Miss Ant and Sane Day, and that's the one I'll, I'll talk to him tomorrow about getting, make sure that gets downloaded. And that young lady that did that, she did a really good job at speaking. And I had her um, speak to to Dorothy, uh, we were walking by and I seen her and I said, here, I need you to tell that to Dorothy. And she did, and she said she did a really good job at pronouncing all the words right. And I think That's amazing. Did you say it's on Facebook? Cause I might be able to find it and look for it if you want. Um, if Yeah, it's at Riverside, Riverside. Um, it's, let's see, official Riverside Indian School. And the one that I was going to show oh, was, okay. it was uh, the Tarsa girls singing a Kawa hymn. Oh, okay. Let me, um, okay, I think I found, I'm on the official Riverside Indian School page. Uh, okay, so it says, congratulations to our Riverside boys. That's the yeah. first one that pops up. Yeah, it's not that one. That's the... Um, that was, okay, had, let me that was Julia's boy that sung in that group. Ruby do. Oh yeah. yeah um Manahonies. No, not Manahonies. There's one, I think there's the one with uh the two boys singing. Yeah, it's Feather That Dan. one with Keaton. Um 
And then the one with the peyote songs. Uh, okay, you said the one with the three girls? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm looking to see if there's one that pops up with the Mrs. Ant. I don't I see it. On... On. I don't think he did yet. Okay, but do you want me to pull up the one can with the you? three girls? Yeah, can you? Okay, let me... Uh, let's see if we can do this. Okay. Hey, thaw. Let me, now I have to figure out my technology. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to share it. Uh, share sound. And video. Share. Hey, tell me if you can hear this. Yes, you can hear it. Could you hear that? Oh. Paul, okay, let me, let me go off video just in case the internet messes up. Okay, uh, let me rewind it. Let me go back. Okay, uh, cool. They ended up getting second, and but they got second to those boys that sang those peyote songs. That's awesome! That is awesome! Congratulations! Wow! Can you play that peyote one? The peyote because those are kawa. Those are kawa songs. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me. Uh, I can pull that one up too. Let's see. Let me go back there. And Carolyn, I don't. So two of your group student groups were competing against each other in that. Yes, in that category. category? Yes. Uh, so we got first and okay. second in that one. <laughs> All right. Got some competition. <laughs> okay. I think this is this is the one, right? Tim? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. I'll play this one. Let me some fun, y'all. When I keep doing it, man, go with you, young man.
Awesome, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. They're good. And I wasn't familiar with the language fair. I probably could those, put those boys in other categories. I just didn't know. But make sure I'm going to have that thing stacked. <laughs> that was awesome. That yeah, they're they're young men. They're talented. That is so cool. They must participate in it. The way they're singing. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. they go to meetings all the time and they're they come from strong families though. But um those one on the far right's a sixth grader. He's a uh, uh, from the Comanches. Uh, well he's got Kawa in him too, but the Monessa family. And so they're real strong singers. Ah, uh, Haiti. Mo Monessa, is that is that how you say it? Manassi. Manassi. Manassi, yeah. And then those Tartsa girls, you know, hit their brothers and sisters. They when they they always won the language fair. So their families did good teaching them. I I think um some of those Manassis are all Hades too, but I'm not sure who's I'm related to them on yeah. the all Hades side and Manassee side. Yeah, that, yeah, you're right. That it does sound familiar. So if y'all need a hit singer anytime, they'd be more than happy to go do that. That was awesome. Um uh yeah, what what were their uh th are their names somewhere? Or I guess they would be in the program, right? Those boys. No, oh it, it was um it was um Anthony Monesi Jr. and of course Micah um Micah Rubidu and um it's it's this kid's his name is Tomaki, oh golly, his last name is worse. It's Ta Chawaki or something. He's got a really, he's got a really hard name. And um, is it Tachawika? So yeah, yes, Tachawika. Yes, that's it. And who was the? He was the other boy. Um, it's oh, Kaya Ka Ka Almanza. Done that was speaking. I think he's um, he, he was um, Sh Shawnee. Try it. But he prays like an old man. He prays really strong and real long in a good way like that. Was he speaking in his language? Yes, yes. Oh. Yeah, so I'm just, in the beginning, I was like trying to, I was like, hey, wait, I don't think that's Kiowa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I could have put him. That's in. so cool. And we had uh we had one of our girls also, um, Mary, um, Sinead, You know she she did a prayer, and Ramon helped us helped us with the prayer. Um, and she got first place in her in the prayer, and then the Miss Aunt, um, she got first place. I think we came away with eight first place. And it's not including They own day. Get the idea. It was a good. How fun. That is so cool. It was it's very inspiring. It was so inspiring to see all of the youth. It's amazing. And see, now I've never been familiar with this. So next year when school starts, I'm going to start getting kind of figure out who can speak their language, you know, as soon as school starts. So we had one girl that was Lakota that did that sung with a hand drum. See, our girls around here don't usually use hand drums, but, you know, up north they do. And so she sung uh, her Lakota flag song and she got first place. And so we have oh, a lot wow. of at Riverside that we just got to get them to to not be shy and be able to speak their language so hey that's good motivation that's that's what i did with my classes it was part of their uh project for the year it was to prepare for the language fair and they all had to do something so it was it's a good motivation 
And now they know what it's like because a lot of them, it was their first time. So they were like, oh, all right. They got motivation for next year. <laughs> I, I got motivated for next year myself. So <laughs> now that I know. Oh. That's awesome, though. It was really good. Really good to see everyone. Does anyone else have any other, any reflections or updates you'd like to share? Not really. I think that uh, I just wanted to say congratulations. Okay. I've been watching, I've been watching them, you know, uh, the videos and things. And it's just really, really great to see those kids come away like that. Um, I want to say I hope to, you know, all the teachers and all the mentors and families. It, it just, it just really brightens your day to see that. I see those kids get out there and do that and win, you know, and I know it makes them feel really great. So I hope. Oh, definitely. Well, very cool. Um, well, maybe maybe next next time I'll have my uh, I'll have our videos uploaded to share. <laughs> figure out figure out the uploading thing. Awesome. Uh, well, we have about ten minutes left. Uh, so, does anyone have any? Uh, questions or anything else you'd like to share? Um, let me see. So I'm going to go through the chat. It looks like one, two, three, four. Four, five, one, two, three, um, four. So I'll I'll share the uh, dates: the May twenty fifth or May eighteenth with Dane, and then uh, I guess he'll talk with the credentialing board next time they meet, and then we'll be able to hear like a final, final uh some final word on when the official credentialing in-person session will be held. So it's pretty exciting. Um, okay, let's see. I don't know if we have any time to practice <laughs> because we have eight minutes left. Uh, but uh, let's see, is there something we want to focus on for next week that I could prepare for? Maybe continuing to uh, work on the uh, Kiowa grammar, the nouns, pronouns, verbs. Oh, I think that's what I need to do on my credentialing. Is that in oh, the story? Same here. I think we left off on the story last week. That's right. We got made it through like only two or three lines. We didn't even go through the whole page yet. <laughs> yeah. That's right. No, that was really awesome. Okay. Cool. Well, um, so for our mentors, <laughs> we may uh, want your assistance to help us with uh, pronouncing the um, the stories. We can maybe do that next week. And then look at uh, the nouns, pronouns, and verbs and practice that. So we'll work towards that. Awesome. Okay, any any other updates or comments that anyone would like to share before we close up?
All righty. Well, um, we'll see when the uh, language board meets to see what date the in-person credentialing will be held, either the 18th or the 25th of May. And then I'll have the uh, story and the noun, pronoun, verb materials ready for next week so we can um, get practicing with some of that. And otherwise, I guess uh, we can uh, close out for the evening. Grandma D, Pihok Gemma, if you're able to fade out, Sai. So, <laughs> Good to see everyone again tonight, and we'll see you next week, and we'll get to practicing since uh, May is approaching pretty quickly since it's already April, <laughs> um, and we'll look forward to seeing more of the Language Fair videos uh, when we get those um, shared. So, all right. Obaha. Hega ba oi bonta. Hega ba oi tonta ta. No, I don't. Hega ba oi bonta.